Hey guys, Alistair Michaels here, here to explain why the captions are different from what I'm saying, and that is because what I'm saying is what I'm actually reading from the American official novelization of Dissolving Classroom. So I highly suggest you pick that up, check it out, and read it. That's about it. Have a good day. The new student was strange, right from the start. This is Iwazawa. He'll be in your class starting today. Okay then, introduce yourself. Y yes sir, I'm Yuma Iwazawa. Hey Keiko, he's kind of hot, right? Sure, and I... I'm terribly sorry. What? Why is he apologizing? He's pulling a gag already. <laughs> Too funny. <laughs> I'm so very sorry. I'm so sorry. Excuse me, excuse me, I'm so sorry. Hmm. Ooh, now you've done it. I I'm, I I'm sorry, I I'm so sorry. Sir, I'm sorry, please forgive me. There's no way I can make up for this. I can't apologize enough. It's fine, really. It's just a broken vase. Go clean it up. Did you hear about the weird kid who transferred into 2B? He apologizes all the time. Like he has guilt issues? Well, the other day he was standing on the sidewalk apologizing to everybody who walked by. Is he nuts or something? Hey, Yuma. You gotta apologize today. I I I'm really sorry. Come on, your heart wasn't in it. Do better. Get on your knees and mean it. It's all my fault. Please forgive me. You want us to forgive you? Then drink some toilet water. Aizawa, what happened to you? You're soaking wet. Was it Mina and his crew again? Here, use this to clean up. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Yuma, y you apologize too much. You can't be servile all the time. Why are you constantly apologizing? Miss Keku Arasu. I'm so sorry. On the way home from school that day. Next up in today's news, the Ministry of Health and Welfare is urgently calling on relevant organizations to find the cause of the mysterious illness reported various parts of the country over the past several years, and that strange girl's been following me. She's creeping me out. <sighs> what? I'm just with her. <sighs> Who the hell are you? Brains. Give me your brains. Huh? Let me suck out your soft, juicy brains. Ah! Stay away from me! <sighs> Luckily, she didn't break any bones. She should be released in a week. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so glad. Me too, but 
Why did she jump out in the street like that? Mm. Ah! Keiko, you're awake. Looked like you were having a nightmare. Keiko, why did you jump out into traffic? The girl. There was this creepy girl following me around. She was really scary. What are you talking about? What girl? I don't know. I'd never seen her before. Who is it? Ah, Yuma. A friend of yours? Yeah, he's in my class. Oh, how sweet of you to visit. I'm really so terribly sorry. What? I can't apologize enough for what happened to your daughter. What are you talking about? What happened to Keiko is, is my little sister's fault. <laughs> what? 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 We'd better talk about this in the hall. Come along. I, 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 yes, sir. His sister, my creepy girl, is you my sister. Later, my mom told me what happened. Yuma apologized profusely. My dad was furious, saying he called the police. Yuma begged him not to, on his hands and knees. Then dad told him to call his parents here. And then Yuma confessed that his parents had passed away, and it was just him and his sister. Yuma came to the hospital every day and apologized to my parents. Eventually, they were mollified. I began to look forward to him visiting, too. His apologies began to feel oddly relaxing, like my mind and body would just melt away. One week later. I'm glad you weren't hurt too badly. I really am sorry. Oh, it's okay. It's not your fault. No. It is my fault. What? My sister Chizumi. She used to be such a sweet little girl. But she's changed. She's a different person. Her heart became twisted, and that must be my fault. Did something happen? When I was little, my parents were really strict. They would yell at me a lot. I found an outlet for all that stress and killing small animals, bugs, frogs, and snakes. I think that must be what did it. What? I think it's divine wrath. Chizumi is possessed by a snake. I'm sure of it. The snakes I killed have cursed us. No way. I can't really. Not long after that, the rumors started to spread around town. Rumors of a creepy girl who'd appear on streets and corners and stalk women and children. And, as if to prove the rumors true... I'm so sorry, my sister! Groveling about it ain't gonna fix it. I'm calling the police. Yuma, please allow me to apologize too. Please forgive us. Please. We're very sorry. Keiko, I'm so sorry you went and apologized on my behalf. Don't worry about it. I'm totally fine. Actually, it felt kind of good to do that. Hey, Yuma, could I come over to your place? Huh? Why would you want to? I, uh... I want to be Chizumi's friend. What? I really think I could. I'll open her heart and let out the part of her that wants to stop this. That's crazy. You don't know how evil she is, Keiko. Anyways, I have others to apologize to. See you. Hmm.
Fine. I'll go over by myself. I'll go talk to her directly. I know where Yuma lives anyways. Thinking back, I must have been crazy. Did getting on all fours to apologize with Yuma give me some kind of high? This must be the place. Hmm. No. It's open. Cheese of me. Cheese of me? It smells like something rotten. Cheese of me. Uh, I'm coming inside, okay? <gasps> ah! <laughs> what do you want? I came to be your friend. Fred. <laughs> you can be my friend if I can slurp out all your brains. Your brother has been going around apologizing for you all this time. How do you think he feels? Oh, how does he feel? Ooh, he feels like he's died and gone to heaven. What? What do you mean? He doesn't apologize for me. He apologizes because he likes it. The more he apologizes, the more he's overtaken with pleasure. He's completely hopeless. It's because he's killed so many snakes and frogs when he was little. I know! It's because he was stressed, because your parents were harsh. But he regrets it now. Please, forgive him. Stress? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. He didn't kill those animals out of stress. It was for the ritual. Ritual? Yes. He was sacrificing them to the devil up in the hills outside of town. He was trying to summon the devil. And it worked. Lies! It's totally true. One day he came back from the hills, shivering all the way, and then he groaned in his sleep all night long. That was proof he'd met the devil. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Forgive me. Forgive me. <laughs> And that's when he became addicted to apologizing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But not to apologize to anyone in front of him. He prays to the devil for forgiveness. And then apologies began to be accompanied by the most exquisite pleasure. Chizumi, stop making up stories. How could you say that about your brother? Oh, you don't believe me? Then I've got something to show you. It's our mama and papa. But their brains already leaked out, so they're empty. Ah! 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 That's insane. Those had to be fakes made out of... Paper mache. Obviously, none of this that's true. Keiko, dinner's ready. <laughs> you both have colds, or is it allergies? <laughs> I know this or something. I've been running all day. But, Mom, where's dinner? These are just empty plates. Huh? Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Not strange. I thought I made dinner. <laughs> you, what? You're, you're kidding, right? This cold is making me spacey. I'll start it now. 
I don't need any. I'm, I'm not hungry anyway. I'm going to bed. Oh no. Not me too. I caught their cold. Okay, let's get started. Let's study trigonomic functions. Yeah. What's a trigonomic function again? Yo, Yuba, we're gonna see you apologize today. <sighs> I'm sorry, please forgive me, Mita. It's all my fault. Please have mercy. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <coughs> hey, Mita, you you guys, stop picking on Yuma. <laughs> brains, the brains are melting out. Yummy brains. Well, do you believe me now? My brother's apologies make people's brains melt. It must be the evil electromagnetic waves passing between him and the devil. Your brains are starting to melt too. <laughs> Stop it, Chizumi. Keiko, please forgive Chizumi for being so rude. Our parents died when Chizumi was still an infant. They died from their brains oozing out. Chizumi tasted their melting braids and now she can't get enough. That's why she's like this. It's all my fault. All of it. S Stop. Don't apologize. Keiko, forgive me. Forgive me! I'm so sorry! Stop! Keiko, wait! Get away from me! Someone! Help! Keiko! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! No! Keiko, please, please forgive me. Ah, forgive me. I'm sorry. I woke up in a hospital bed. My brain had started melting, but. It stopped just in time. Maybe it was because I fainted. I couldn't hear those terrible apologies anymore and I lived. Later they told me my parents were dead. I didn't really feel anything, probably because my brain is damaged. I, I, I don't know what happened to Yuma Aizawa and his sister cheesed me after that. They must have gone somewhere else to start all over again in some other town.